What's up everybody, you know it is, Goody Beats, and here it is guys, here is episode one of the Shred, road to, um, road to my first competition, I'm not sure what the title is, I'm sure the title will be in the title of this video, but I just kind of just thinking of, thinking out loud, it'll be somewhere like that. Anyway, so I'm here at my gym, THRC, and they have an in-body test to gauge where your body fat is. Now, I know there are other things. There's like a bot pod. Now, I couldn't get that set up in time to go get that. I, I just I just need to get a number. I just need to see where I'm at. Now, last time when I did the shred, um, I, did a, uh, I did a DEXA scan. Now, a DEXA scan is the most accurate thing you can do. It, gets a whole scan of your body and they'll tell you exactly where you, how much body fat you have in your arms, your legs, your butt, your stomach, everything. I just couldn't do it this time. One, it's all the way in Austin. Not that Austin's far, but it's pretty expensive and I, my gym is doing it for free because, you know, hey, I do commercials for them. I work with them. I shout them out all the time. They're like, yeah, go, come in and, and, and do a do a, a free in-body test. So you can't beat free, guys. So uh, here we are. We're going to do this test and then I'm going to jump on a stairmaster for an hour, guys, and the whole purpose of jumping on this uh, stairmaster for an hour is because I'm gonna try to get my body in ketosis. If you guys don't know what that is, you're gonna be hearing a lot about the diet that I'm on. I am doing a keto diet now. Before y'all freak out, I know a lot of trainers out there hate the keto diet, and they're gonna I'm gonna get so much crap for it. Look, it's what works for me. It's what I, when I do the keto, my body just responds to it like that. I drop the fat and it's just, it's, an, it's just awesome. It's just what works for me. I'm not saying it's the right way and I'm not saying it's the wrong way. It's just the way that I do it. So I'm gonna bring you along the way and uh, bring you through the journey. It is a keto diet, so uh, it'll be fun because you don't see too many of that on uh, YouTube. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, let's get started. And my coach is actually here right now. And so went over it with them and we both agreed that 27% body fat is just way too high. Um, in our opinion, I think it's probably nine or eight percentages uh, too high. Uh, I think I'm somewhere between 18 and 19. He thinks I'm around 17, so he thinks it's 10% off. Um, or he, yeah, 10% off. It's just, you know, it's, he's, he thinks that's what the, the machine is. Um, anyways, so again, I this was free. So this was free, and, and it's it's a good test um, just to get you know just to get a, an estimate. But I think I'm gonna call Texas State tomorrow, which is the college that's in my hometown, because they do offer bot bot tests. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a bot bot test as well and compare the numbers because you never know. I, in my opinion, I think that's way too high. But who, what if I'm not? What if I'm not wrong? What, what if it's only like three or four or two or one off? So, you know, the more tests we have, the more numbers we have, the more data we have, the more we can compare these two tests and really get a good, accurate number or a good guesstimate at where my body per fat, uh, where my body fat percentage is at. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the cardio machine right now. Again, the purpose of that, trying to get my body in ketosis. It's gonna suck because I forgot my headphones. So one hour on the treadmill, no TV, no music. This is gonna be brutal. We'll see you after I'm done.
not know this, I have been bulking for about eight months. It started, uh, I'd say, a couple weeks before Body Powers, kind of when I started upping the calories, getting ready. I wanted to look really big. I wanted to look really full heading to the UK because, you know, after, I, I probably said the story to you before, but when I went to the Arnold Classic and I met uh, Gabriel Say and Dan Yeomans, I was like, Jesus Christ, these guys are gigantic. They don't look... I mean, their Instagram pictures, yeah, they look big, but then you see them up, pl uh, up close and in person, you're just like, geez, they're freaking massive. And I was like some skinny guy. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to body power. I cannot be looking like a little shrimp. So I definitely started upping the calories and I wanted to look really big, really full, which I think I came into at body power. I think I looked pretty good, but I know that the bulk needed to keep going and going strong and so uh, yeah that's that's where I was as you guys know I did a series on my channel it was called Road to 200 and I got to 200 and it was like it sucked because I had to eat every two hours like constantly eating eating, eating feeling big feeling bloated now you guys I'm a short person so someone who's like six six foot six one six two they can eat all that food and they still feel fine but me I'm short I'm only like five five and a half five six and when I eat I mean I go Boom, I go that way and I just completely feel big, I feel full, I, I feel uncomfortable. I just, it's just something I don't like. Um, so when I hit that 200 mark, I was like, okay, done. I started dropping down the calories. Now I wasn't cutting um, for the for a time there. I kind of wanted to, to feel good without a shirt because when I was at 200, I felt like a well, absolutely felt like a well. Um, so yeah, I kind of I kind of kind of bring started bringing the calories down a little bit and I got down to 185, 180. Sometimes my my weight would fluctuate depending on what I would eat, how much water you know I, I would I would take in. Um, but you know, it just kind of I felt like that was a good starting point for the shred, about 180, 185. Now I don't know exactly what, um, how many pounds I want to get to for a stage. I'll have to talk to my coach. We've only talked a little bit. I mean, again, we're gonna sit down probably tomorrow and really discuss. We talked about where my calories are for right now. My calories are at. 100, uh, no, 225 to 250 grams of protein, 150 grams of fat, and no more than 30 grams of carbs a day, guys, a day. So that will be like this for the first 10 days, and then we'll start going into my, uh, my carb cycling, which I'll get more into later. But enough talking, let's see where I'm at. see how I look um, in my personal opinion um, you know I think the bulk did pretty good I, I think I bulked up I gained some muscle but I gained a lot of fat now I don't know why you know look everyone's different everyone gains and, and, and gains muscle and gains fat differently but in my opinion because I came from being bigger being heavy set you know I've been I've been overweight longer than I've been fit. You got to think about it like that, guys. Now I know a lot of you who have been following me saying, "Oh, you've you know you've been lifting weights for a couple of years now. You look great." But again, guys, remember I was overweight for about eight years before I started getting into the you know lifting weights into fitness and really changing my life back around. So I've been bigger longer than I've been fit. So I think when I when I bulk and I eat food, you know, I think for some reason uh, I gained fat a little more than. Um, then you know your average fitness person. Like for a great example, one of my good buddies, Brian Turner. He's bulking right now. He looks phenomenal. He's gigantic. He's huge, and he still has abs. When I eat and I bulk, the first thing that goes is my abs, and I just like I just blow up midsection. I, everyone's different. Um, but again, I am pleased with the muscle mass. I'm not pleased with the fat. But hey, that's what happens. That's all part of bulking, and that's all about 
uh, you know, building yourself, getting better each and every year or each and every every season. So uh, that's where I am. I hope you guys enjoy this series. I cannot wait to bring you as much content as possible. You guys are going to come with me along the way, you know, every step of the way. Um, every week I'll do an update to show you guys how I look and, you know, just follow the transformation. I cannot wait. I'm going to shoot for the best 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 possible shape I've ever been in uh, the first shred I ever did was the best one the second one was decent um, now this is the third one so I, I want to look better than the first shred and I'll put pictures about right here to show you my first one and then I'll put pictures right here to show you my second shred now you guys may think the second one was better but in my opinion I thought the first one was uh, was better because that came in a lot leaner but that's it for this episode um, of you know, whatever title I have, guys, I apologize. I still don't know the title yet. But whatever it is, you guys already will see it. So this is the first episode. I hope you guys enjoy this one. And I look forward to bringing you through the journey, guys. So let's get it. Peace.